Three, two. Hey guys! Oh! <laughs> you can sit there. Hey guys, so my kids told me I was no fun anymore and then begged me to do an episode on dry ice. Clearly they know how to get me to say yes. So here are three super cool ways to experiment with dry ice. Ah! So stay tuned for a little prank on Ross at the end. So first let's talk about getting and storing the dry ice. Um, it's actually really easy. They sell it at some grocery stores. I actually Googled it this time and found a vendor really close by. It was $13 for five pounds, which is more than you need. And you actually wanna store it in a cooler versus your freezer because it is so cold it can mess with the thermostat. So please, safety first. What's rule number one? No touching the dry ice. Yeah. I promise I'm always just off camera and adults should always supervise and handle the dry ice with gloves or tongs. Okay, let's get started with number one, balloon buster. So I'm gonna take my dry ice and put it into an empty bottle, add warm water and whoop. Oh my God. <laughs> And by the way, they call it dry ice because it doesn't melt into a liquid, but rather turns straight into a gas. The clouds coming it, down. It and to demonstrate this, I'm gonna put a balloon on top. Okay. Oh and see what happens. It's getting big. I don't think it's popping. I feel quiet, quiet. <laughs> Finally. I actually didn't realize how loud the sound was gonna be, so I highly recommend you do this outside with some distance, but the kids like loved it. <laughs> Next up, smoke and bubbles. We got a few tricks here. If you remember, we briefly did boo bubbles in a Halloween episode, except this time around, I could not find a funnel, but I did see our tea kettle, and I'm like, this is perfect, especially since it warms the water already. I just attached the hose to the spout and then a little plastic cup or takeout container on the other side. In a bowl, combine one half dish soap to one half water. Here we go. Add your dry ice in. We're gonna close the pot and it's gonna come out of. And you dip that cup. Oh my God. Lift it up. Oh, this is so cool. What the heck? Bubbles are really sturdy and then just poof. Oh, why did that feel so good? But the kids insisted that Rocky see it too. Don't get it near it. He was like, what is this? Get me out of here. But if you don't want to be messing around with duct tape, a couple easier options, starting with giant bubbles. Take it away, guys. Step one. <laughs> Step two, clean. Gosh, for it. Step 1,000. <laughs> you soak the paper towel and then pull it across the bowl. Oh, no. You didn't do it hard enough. But they didn't quite get it. Oh. And then Tess had to leave for soccer. So here I will show you. Um, you just have to go really slowly with a paper towel and it's really satisfying. It just keeps growing until it like falls over. Oh my gosh. Oh. This last one is definitely foolproof. You just put a little dish soap in a glass, add warm water and then your ice. And then you'll see it start to overflow and like bubbles forming. You definitely want to do this in a tray. It's alive. It's like the cold version of elephant toothpaste. It is actually alive. And then number three, Insta-Freeze. Maybe my kid's favorite, just one question. Why do we only have three gummies left? Um. <laughs> you start with ice in a glass container, and then this time you're gonna add rubbing alcohol, which has a much lower freezing point than water. Sort of like a fake liquid nitrogen, so whatever you put in it freezes fast. Um, give it like 30 seconds to a minute. Rock solid. The kids thought to try flowers. So cool. <gasps> it down, oh no, my gosh. I don't want to Watch it. Oh. Of course, marshmallows. Oh! And we're using 91% rubbing alcohol, so I did try doing strawberries with more traditional 70%, and it took maybe like a minute or two, but they were rock solid. And then we had a little ice left over. So first I put some in the sink and then ran the warm water. Whoa! Which is just a really cool effect. Like you never see your kitchen like this. And then later that night, the kids wanted to prank Ross. I would only do this to adults, but they asked him to clean their sports bottle, which had a little dry ice in it. What is this? And finally, you guys, I want to wish Ford a huge happy 10th birthday. I can't believe it. Time goes so fast, but some things... <laughs> no, no, no. 
Four. <laughs> Never change. Four, no. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye. He's like, get me out of here.